this time shows when the next train will be coming. You no, know, I've been living in Russia for like 10 plus years. And now I'm in Moscow and I decided to make this, uh, this video to show you guys mostly how I use mm -hmm, subway or metro in Moscow city. By the way, it's not all cities in Russia have subway or metro. So stay tuned and see how. It's not difficult. So I will share the journey with you guys. The weather is not very nice because of the snow, they are melting the temple. So the first station that I'll be using now is called Bamoskel station. They do. People always use it to come in. It's one of the oldest stations in Moscow. You can see there is a lot of activity here. Basically, because it's one of the oldest, there is university, there is work center, you can see a lot of people. And it's very popular. Bamaskir still have it. So this is the entrance. If you if you want to pay for your card or top it up, you come to this machine to place your money. But my card is still there is still money in my card so basically I don't need to top up. See a lot of people. So beautiful. The queue is a lot. you where to go so basically you see the station you are about to go because they are written in English and also in Russian language basically you can it doesn't take long for the new station to arrive yeah, about two minutes, sometimes a minute, sometimes three. It can be different. But see the reason I say it's one of the oldest stations. You can see it's very, very, very aesthetic. And you can see the most popular. See this person is so nice. I don't know who he is. He's not one of the popular guys. So this is lane so nice so basically this is how this station is it has a lot of historical things which is so we are queuing waiting for you. so guys we are waiting for our train to arrive and he said in the next one minute 13 seconds you can see the timing already one minute seven seconds let me show you let me get closer to this the next train will be coming in the next 58 seconds 56 54 51 you can see the time i can't zoom it but you can take around two minutes sometimes for the train to arrive Станция Площадь Революции. Переход на станции Театральная и Охотный ряд. language but despite that I can also navigate because when I came to this country I never knew the language but it was not very easy for me I was able to make some changes I was able to communicate and do this project for them Someone playing music. 
Honestly, the first time I came to Moscow, I mean, they are very noisy, but now the ones that are brought now are very nice and, uh, do and doesn't make noise. Very good. Very good. So basically, here uh, yeah, I need to change to, it's called Biblioteca Imina Lenina, like library in Russia, in the name of Lenina. So my next station is University 8. You can see how it is written, University 8. So basically this red line runs to Komunarka. You can see where it's waiting Komunarka. Then on my other side you can see where it's from this place I'm starting it runs from to Bovaria Raskova Kava. Rasovka Rasovka. But basically this is how Russian this is how Moscow metro runs from one angle to another. And you can enter switch to your next station because you see here on the if you check on the prospect, where it does go, you can see you can switch to salad or line, which is a, another kind of line. They call it line level. And you can see on salary, you can go to the after salary, salary, that's no special. So basically, it's not difficult. And here is a You can switch to brand line from red to brown line. I don't have to pay any other amount. The only time you pay is once you leave the station and you come back again, then that's when you have to pay. Now this is more... because my exit is number one. So you can see it's written here in English, Moscow State University. Moscow State University and Lomanovsky Avenue, one of the Russian popular Pisatela writer. So we'll be climbing up now. So now I'm existing. I'm visiting the metro. Now, if I leave now, I am no longer coming back. You can see it's showing red. I have to follow another angle, another entrance to enter, and that means I have to pay for a new ride. So basically, these are the machines you will see if you want to top off. See where they write? Billet, let's change and receive. This is where you buy your ticket. This is the card, Metroica what you use you can see the prices here one trip is 65 rubles two trip is 130 one or three fifth um, suitcase is 315 and 600 what does it mean it means that you buy if you pay 350 rubles you can use as much you can use the metro as long as you want and buses you can see picture of buses 
and also trolley boats. Then 60 trips, that's 3,150. 30, 30 days, 2,730 robots. I'll tag the price in dollars so that you can know if it's expensive or if it's cheap. Then you can pay with coins or with cash or with your card. So it's quite easy to do. And it's not difficult because you can change it to English. This is where I existed from. You see, no entries, no allowed. You need to enter. You can't go down. So you have to follow another entrance. Okay, talking about exchange rate. See, I saw a bank close to the station. See the price as of the day of today, which I'm making this video. You can see this is the exchange rate. Dollar is 92 and 95. That is, if you have robots to convert to dollar, you change it at 92.60. Then if you want to buy dollar is 95 same to euro on the left side is the amount you change if you have euros on the right is the amount you purchase it if you have robots basically and you can see pounds and the other currents i don't know <laughs> so this is how the station looks very big station and you can see close to this beautiful house and there you can see mgo moscow state university and all far from this metro station that's why it's called University Station. In Moscow, you see the street. They'll tell you direction where the metro is. You see, University, the M signifies metro. And they'll tell you what is around and how many minutes to walk to. You see, University Metro is five minutes as you are standing from here. That means it will take you five minutes to get to the University Metro and so on and so forth other signboards so basically it's not difficult to get lost if you can't ask you can use the signboard so basically that's Moscow for you hello guys so don't forget to subscribe if you love this video thanks and please don't forget to subscribe it will really help me to know that you guys are really watching I really wanting to create something new and if you have any question please free to write me down in the commentary anything you want to know okay Take care, bye.